guys, welcome back to Lou's Beauty Closet. If you're new, hi, I'm Lou. I post weekly beauty videos. Consider hitting the subscribe button down below and ringing the bell next to it so you don't miss out on any videos. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so we are fully into 2019. Happy latest, happy new year, guys. We're getting 2019 well underway. Comment below, what are your beauty resolutions for this year? Or any goals you have for the year? Love to hear about it and chat down below. We are swatching the beautiful Pat McGrath Bronze Seduction 5 palette, her mothership. <sighs> Guys. <laughs> so it's such an expensive palette. It is beautiful, it is heavy, it is luxe. Enough of my rambling. Let's get in and see how these beauties are swatched. Okay, so this is the palette housing and casing, very luxe. And these are the shades and the shadows. I'm using the MAC 242 for the glitters, shimmers and shimmery shades and then the Zoeva 227 for the matte shadows. So first shade is Skin Show Divine Glow. This shade is almost like a satin. So there's a bit of a, a sheen to it but it's not glittery by all means. And then the next shade is Entrapment. This is one out of three of the mattes in the palette. So I'm just showing you with one swipe with the finger and the brush. And then I'm just showing you built up because with matte you would blend and blend on your eyes. So just showing you that it picks up pigment as it's built up. Then the next shade is Bronze Blaze. This is basically a nice thick glitter. Looks stunning with your finger. Just a bronzy glitter shade. And that also works well built up. Then next is Rose Gold 005. This one is almost baked in texture and finish. So this one's like very pearlescent, very glittery catches the light then we've got vr fire opal this is the duochrome shade in the palette looks different in different lights that's the first row then we've got extreme aubergine this is two out of three of the matte and just like the name suggests it's an aubergine shade again just showing you the shade built up i've not added anything to the brush just back and forth with what is on the brush and showing you that you can build and blend these shadows they're so soft then next is Guilty Pleasure. This is another shimmery shade or glitter shade. Quite thick. And next is Disobedient. This is the last of the mattes and this is like a warm brown. Again, it's built up quite well with a, with a fluffy brush. Then we've got Blitz Flame. This is, another, this is another shade that I think is quite baked as well, but it's stunning. It's very much like a sheen, satin glitter, or shimmer rather. No chunky glitter at all. Then last we've got Astral Lunar Gold. This is a pearlescent finish. So with your finger you can see the look it has. All right, so that is how this palette swatched. Some shades did better with a finger, some shades did better with a brush. Just follow Pat's advice for some of the shades. I would just recommend that for the matte, to use brushes and more of your, your just your standard brushes, your fluffy brushes, your blending brushes. And then for this shade up here is a satin, so that shade worked beautifully with a flat packing brush. These two shades here, the palette's actually really heavy to keep open. These two shades here, they're very much so like toppers, especially this one more so than any other shade in the palette. This one, I think, definitely use your fingers with this or use a wet brush. Um, this gold definitely performed better with a finger or I've got it on my eyes at the moment and I just wet the brush a bit. This shade here as well didn't really do the best just with a flat brush so I would probably experiment with a different brush or just use your finger to apply them but gorgeous gorgeous how stunning was this red and this duo chrome here that keeps you guessing but I'd say this shade down here is kind of like a topper so just use a wet brush or a finger just to apply it basically and you'll enjoy the palette is stunning though the mattes are buttery soft the glitters and shimmers are fully impact full impact the packaging is completely luxe the mirror is luxe heavy packaging so you can see that the money you spent has not only gone into the, the actual product but actually the packaging as well so, so that is how this beautiful palette swatched as the end of today's video comment below guys on your thoughts love to continue the discussion down below on your way out consider hitting the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss any videos i can't wait to see you back here again guys click here to catch my last video click here to also subscribe and click here for more from these beauty closet till next time guys